Welcome to this lab. Now that we've learned how to manipulate object from the previous lesson, let's continue working on a new function. So in this lab, we're going to see how erase object work in C sharp. So let's keep going. I have here created a new method called erase object. So we have the same code structure as uh, the previous methods that we've created. It's just to save us time. So we have all the needed uh, variables and the transactions and the try block, try catch block. So we can focus on creating our new object. So in this method, we're going to create a 2D polyline. Then after we create it, we will erase right away but we'll we'll once we run it in AutoCAD we'll see step by step on how it is uh, being created and how it is getting erased so let's get started let's create a new lightweight polyline using the using construct so polyline let's say pl equals new polyline so now that we have the pl variable we can add a vertex into that polyline so pl dot add a vertex add this will be the first vertex so it it's, it starts with the zero index and then we should specify the new point so let's start from 2 4 x is 2 and y is 4 and there are, there are some other uh, parameters here the balls let's just put 0 start with 0 and with 0 Let's just copy these uh, two more vertices and then let's just change the coordinate of the second vertex and then also change the coordinate of the third vertex and this is the second uh, vertex it should have an index of one and this is the third vertex with an index of two okay next let's add the new object to the block table record btr that append entity pl uh, and then add into the transaction and then I would like to introduce uh, another function from the document object so this is actually to send a command to AutoCAD using the regular AutoCAD command that's called a send string to execute so basically it just mimic the way you execute a I mean you do a command in AutoCAD so zoom extends and space as enter then activate let's just make this false wrap up inactive doc just false also the bool echo command just set it to false okay good next let's uh, update the display then display an alert message so using the other way to communicate to the user we will be sending a dialog box but before that let us first uh, regenerate the drawing so from the editor we can issue the regen then from the application object we can show the alert dialog let's just say erase the newly added uh, polyline 
and then erase the polyline from the drawing pl dot erase is uh, true there you go and of course we have to commit the transaction let's perform some code clean up here all right so we also have handled the exception here so this is just about it for this uh, method uh, in the next video we will try running this code and we'll probably do one step at a time before we do the erase we'll see first what's the the newly polyline that we created how it looks like then we'll see the message that will be uh, prompted for us and then we will activate the the erase so I'll see you in the next video.